What's up? It's five o'clock. This this one ain't even. I gotta do better. I ain't gonna make no excuses. I gotta do better. I'm ashy. With a lotion at. With a lotion at. With a lotion at. With a uh, with a uh, with a lotion at. Y'all, it's 30 degrees outside today, 36. What's going on, y'all? This was not a planned out one. I do not have this on subscriber only mode. So that means I'm about to get all these trolls coming in here. Talk crazy. Talk greasy. You feel me? They gonna be talking crazy. What's going on? Do you wear toe rings? <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mother of Twins. Happy Thursday. How you doing? What's going on with ya? Y'all the first people here. Appreciate you, Queen. I appreciate you. What's going on with y'all? I do appreciate you. Please thumbs up the life. I love to see your toe ring collection. I don't think I will probably ever show that. <laughs> My toe ring collection. I do have. I don't have a whole lot. But I do definitely have some toe rings. I probably got like about maybe seven or eight. Not a whole lot. I got little fat toes though. They cute though. I got, I got cute toes. My toes is cute. But they, I got little fat toes. But they cute. Because I keep my feet together. You feel me? Hey, Alex. I was the most me eating spicy ramen. Okay. Hey, Maria. Maria, you know what? I am doing okay um i'm gonna say i'm doing good because i'm alive and everything but it was a slow one today i did not want to get out that bed my fibromyalgia and my arthritis is really kicking my butt i'm having a um i'm having a real bad uh flare-up today like bad and uh I don't even like calling off work, but I really wanted to call off today. I just wanted to just, it's like I couldn't stay woke. I can't, every time I was editing a video, it was all bad. Yes, I remember you eating the, uh, the spicy noodles with, uh, with spicy tea. <laughs> I remember. Hey, Jazz, what's up, son? I ain't seen you in a few days. Where you been at? What's going on with you? Y'all thumbs up the live, y'all. Another day to be lifted out of... Man, listen. Uh, I'm so sore. My body's so sore. Y'all just don't understand. Oh, you were sick? Oh, what was wrong? Yeah, yeah. What was wrong, son? You was sick? Well, let me just say this. I'm happy you are better. I am happy you are better. Because being sick is not the thing. That's why I'm like, I'm so sore now. My body is hurting me so bad. My neck is killing me. Back, my shoulders. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah. But I'm good anyhow. I'm good anyhow. Good anyhow. Feel me? I'm gonna be alright. Eyes gonna be alright. You feel me? Hey, 
Hey, why is this truck? I wish I could flip my camera. Why is this truck moving around the, the freeway like he all over the place? Is he drunk or something? And he got his left blinker on. It's been on for a minute. I think this man is drunk. He driving this big old 18 wheeler or whatever you call it. And he is all over the place. I wonder if he drunk or sleep or something. I ain't about to try to get in front of this truck. I'm gonna stay right on back here. He tripping. Now he got the right blinker on. He done moved over now, y'all. Lord. He probably tired. He probably is, but he gonna kill everybody and himself. You better go park somewhere. I hope he make it to wherever he going. Lord, let's do a quick prayer. Lord Jesus, please protect this man in his truck. I don't know him, but Lord, please give him the strength. Give him some energy so he can get to wherever he going. So he will not kill himself and everybody else on the turnpike and on the freeway. Through your son, Christ Jesus. Amen. Baby, a big, big, baby, a big, big. A hunk, hunk, baby. A hunk, hunk, okay? Try hunking to see if he wakes up. No, I just rolled past him. He look aware to me. I don't know what's going on, but he need to chill out. Self-harm is never good. Who said something about? Who said something about uh self-harm? What are you talking about, honey? Ain't nobody self-harming nobody. This dude just look like he about to. Man, listen. I'm I'm, a, I'm far away from him. A B B baby, a B B. A hunk hunk baby, a hunk hunk. I don't know. I just got here. What you talking about some self-harm? What nobody talking about that? For sure, for sure. I'm talking about I'm I'm uh on the turnpike. I'm talking about this big old 18 wheeler. <laughs> right. She come here talking some self-harm. It's never good. What? Uh he ain't gonna pass out. We ain't about to even speak that type of negativity. I should have never said that. But the way he was driving, he was looking a little scary. He was looking a little feel me? I just pray the prayer for him and he gonna get to where he going. Hey y'all, I gotta take these braids down. Definitely gotta take these braids down. I'm gonna do it this weekend. Probably on Sunday. A beep beep baby. A beep beep. A wink wink baby. A wink wink. Y'all, so what are we going to talk about today? Because y'all see that I was not prepared for this. Y'all know I always have a subject. Always. Uh, I have it on subscriber only. I do not have it set to subscriber only. So it's going to be people probably in here trying to troll and everything. I ain't got no, um, why microwaves are safe. Baby, did you spell it like Michael, like the boy named Michael? Girl, you don't stop playing with me. You trying to be funny. <laughs> you definitely trolling. Because you know microwaves, microwaves is not spelled that way. Stop playing with me. Stop playing with you a comedian. Yes, merch is out, boo. I had I had it in the car yesterday. Wait, I gotta clean my glasses. Oh, they dirty. I had it in the car yesterday. I was showing everybody yesterday. I'm acoustic. Did I not mean to say that? Past sentence. Do not take it as an insult. It was just a misdemeanor mistake. Okay, 
Well, spell microwave right. I want to. I want to see you spell microwave right, baby. Because if that's how you spell microwave, you are a pure comedian. You so funny. <laughs> Here go, hey son. Here go one of the um the the merch. It's a tumbler. This is a clear 18 ounce double wall tumbler. It's going to say V Peachy's World, and then it's also going to say whatever name you want on it, and you can get it the words in any color you like. Period. Y'all thumbs up the live. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it up. Thumbs it. Uh, thumbs it up. Hey. Uh, thumbs it up. Hey. Hey, water be tasting so good when you thirsty. Water tastes good, period, though. Hey, I'm here until I get out of my car. on on 4%. Hey, Brandy. I appreciate you. Girl, why I don't have it on um subscriber only mode, girl? I'm about to have all kind of uh, trolls in here today, girl. Lord, I'm about to have all kind of trolls in here today. And it ain't no, um, what's it called? It ain't no, um, mods in here. You ain't in here. Jaleel ain't in here. Nobody's here with me. What's up, Minnie? My girl Minnie in the building. Hey, my girl Brandy in the building. Hey, my girl Maria in the building. Hey, my son Jazz in the building. Hey, let go, let go. Hey, hey, is Maria new? No, she is not new. I wanna. Bill microwave. Bill <laughs> microwave. Hey y'all, I just dropped a video today too. I ain't dropped a video yesterday and I'm sorry. I was trying to, my goal for this week was to drop a video every day this week, like a long content video. And I did not drop one yesterday. But I did drop one today. It's coming out at 6 o'clock. Sorry, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Watch the live better. Hello, sorry, y'all. Mr. Ball, boiling. Rick one boiling in the building. What's going on with you, Mr. Big? Was it Big Daddy? What is it? Daddy, Daddy, Big Balls, boiling in the building. Let's go. Like, sup, Peach? What's going on with you? Zaddy Big Boss? Hey, hey. It ain't fixed yet. Jazz. Jazz, it's definitely fixed now. If it's still messed up on your end, that's your phone. <laughs> Coming to dropping that one ball. Blue. He coming through dropping one ball. Just one. Hey, Miss hey, uh Rick, they say you got that one ball energy. Blue. Just one. <laughs> He got that one ball energy, man. <laughs> he ain't dropping two, just one. <laughs> I had a general manager. He only had one less say. What happened to the other one? I actually have two. <laughs> we know you got two. You got kids. Hey. I wonder, can you have kids with one with one ball? Probably. I think you can have kids with probably one ball. 
cause the cause the testicle, cause the cause I mean you ain't gotta have to. I think you can have listen. Oh, oh. I think you can have kids with one testicle. I think you can. Jazz. And you ain't spelling it right either. What school y'all go to? Cause I wanna. Okay, Jazz, you go to school in Bulgaria. Bulgaria, y'all must got some terrible schools. Y'all don't know how to spell microwave. And then I wanna. How old is you? Are you a child or an adult? Cause baby, he got cut off. I wanna say Smith. But since it has a swear word in it, it get either banned or muted. Yeah, because if you start talking crazy, I'm just going to time you out. So watch your mouth. Don't talk crazy. It got cut off. What? That's crazy. You ain't about to keep talking about this microwave either. Michael Vave. Oh, you finally spelled it right. That's what's up. I knew you know how to spell microwave. I knew you was trolling. Wait, there's just one mod. Or about mod. Oh, I know how to mod my own channel too. So if you talk crazy, I know how to I know how to kick you out. I don't need no mod in here to kick people out. I would have showed y'all I have two boys in a long shot before I got married. <laughs> Rick said, baby, I, Rick said, I ain't afraid. I ain't afraid. He said, but I'm a married man. So, hey, hey, hey. He said, he didn't put that, he didn't put that behind him. He don't do those type of things no more. Rick was one of them, baby. He said, don't, hey, don't. Don't play with me. I am not the play play. <laughs> Don't play with me. Back in my day, I used to whip it out. Don't ask me because I'm not ashamed. Okay? Okay. I know that's right, Mr. Ballin. Ballin! He said, Don't play with him. Don't play with him. I like those type of dudes. You know how? You know how I like look, cause I, I look, I'm a freak. So like when it come to like dudes, like and if I'm like if I feel comfortable and we touchy feely or whatever, I hate the type of dudes like when you be ready to touch when you be ready to touch they and then they be acting like they don't want you to touch it. Why? Like since when you don't want me to touch it? Like, but I like I like dudes with big yeah, energy. Like if you got a big one. That's how you know dudes got a big one if they want you to, because they let you touch it. Like, when dudes be having a little one, they be like, no, chill out, chill out. But they want you to turn the lights off. Nah, -uh, turn the lights on. Click, turn the lights on. Let me see. I don't need to examine it. I need to, you know what I mean? Like, quit playing with me. Like, uh-uh, ain't no turning the lights off. Uh-uh. Turn it, click, turn the lights on. Uh-uh, we ain't about to do nothing in the dark. Uh-uh. Turn them on. I need to lift it up. I need to examine. Push these over. Lift the sack. Uh-uh. Let me examine. Let me look. Let me pull the skin. Wait, let me see. Okay. <laughs> Baby, uh-uh. Hey, Mr. Boy say I ain't shy. I know that's real. That's how I am too. I ain't shy, baby. They dudes be thinking cause I'm a big girl, like, oh, you don't want to show your body who? You knew what I look like before I took these clothes off. Baby, I ain't shy at all. Baby, I got dimples. I got rolls, baby. Uh-uh, this is, this, I am a very confident BBW. So we ain't got to turn no lights off, baby. Let's get it in. Let's go. Ha, ah, ah. ha. Don't play with me. Let's get it. Uh-uh, we ain't turn no lights off. And I get some top. Ah. Don't play with me. Don't play with me. I need to examine it. Let's go. I ain't playing. I hate dudes like that. I hate it. 
Like, don't get me wrong, like, because you got to make dudes feel comfortable, too. You know what I mean? Like, you don't want to make nobody feel uncomfortable, but don't play with me. Hey, Miss V, cooking with love. Hey. How are you? Hello. 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 Miss V, they got me in here acting bad. I don't know what they talking about, Miss V. They got me in here acting nuts. You know, seizure, you spelt it right, but um, who having a seizure? You good? Miss V, they got me in here talking about this bad stuff. Miss V, I, I know you is a good person, Miss V, so I'm not, Peach, what you talk about over here? <laughs> Was you listening? <laughs> Kill a dog. This <laughs> How much of this conversation have you heard? <laughs> I had to be good because Miss V came in here. I'm trying to be good. I don't want Miss V to hear me talking bad, being bad. Killer dog, what's going on? Killer dog. And hey, y'all know me and Killer dog gonna be stomping in in New York streets. We gonna do a collab when I go see him. How do we live and what does it look like? What? How do we live? What? Just walked in, sis. Oh. Okay, so basically, um, I just know how I am not ashamed of my body and how because I am a larger woman, because I am a BB, hey Anna, because I am a BBW, some men or people, or yeah, men, because I don't mess with women, but men tend to, because I'm a bigger woman, that I am like ashamed of my body, because like, I've heard women be like, oh, I want to keep my shirt on, you know, while I'm doing the do. Because they had shame of their bodies, like, oh, they don't want to show their stomachs, and, you know, oh, I want to cover up with the covers, or I want to cut the lights off, and stuff like that. I ain't like that. Baby, click these lights on. Click them up. Click. Turn them on. Look at the body. You knew what I looked like before we got naked. So, you go about to see these dimples. You about to see these rolls. Like, I'm a bigger woman. So, I, it ain't nothing. What? Uh-uh. You about to see all this. We about, I'm about to bend yeah you know what i mean like it ain't you know this adult talk you feel me but you know see what i mean like i'm guilty of that peachy i mean you know period point blank and i was just saying like with men i'm the same way i don't like men who a man that don't like extra cushion for the pushing ain't a man period <laughs> period <laughs> Don't nobody like bones or butters or nah I'm just playing. To all the to all the slim to all the slim goodies up in here. We love you. We everybody is beautiful. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. Everybody is beautiful. I like to watch the waves. Okay? That's what I'm saying. Um but to all the slim goodies, you know what I mean? Whether you 98 pounds, whether you 198 pounds, whether you 298 pounds, baby, we all beautiful, you know what I mean? But I was also saying, like, with men, I don't like when, like, when, you know, when it comes time to touch the men, and, you know, they be acting like they don't want you to touch it or whatever. Like, men like to be touchy-feely. They want to touch on your breasts and touch on your butt, and, um, I look like a beach whale. Girl, um, Brandy, shut up. You are beautiful. And I know somebody want to touch all over you, Brandy, girl. I, girl, you just got the wrong man. You know, who told you that? Who told you you look like a beach whale? I bet you your man ain't telling you that when he bending you over. Girl, bye. But, um, I would say I don't like men who are, like, they like to be touchy-feely. They want to touch on your breast, touch on your butt, touch all in between your lips. You know what I mean? They want to do all of that. But then, 
when you get ready to touch on them, they all like, oh, stop, stop, stop. Uh-uh. I like men with big uh uh what's the thing? What's that big eggplant energy? I like men with big eggplant energy. When I get ready to touch that eggplant, I want you to shove my hand down on it. I want you to shove my face down there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you feel me? Yes, big cucumbers, big eggplants, baby. And I love cucumbers. I love them. You feel me? Like, I want that type of energy. Don't be shoving my hand away like you don't want me to touch it. When you get ready to get you clicking the lights on. No, I click the lights on. I want to see it. I want to examine it. Lift the shaft. Lift the sack. I want to see. I want to see all the wrinkles. You got bumps. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, wait a minute. You know what I mean? Like, we ain't about to. Do, uh uh. Don't play with me. <laughs> I'm not about to put that near my mouth. You got me messed up. Because if I have bumps and all that stuff down there, you ain't going to want to put your mouth on me. So I want to examine. I ain't uh uh. Fair exchange, no robberies. You feel me? <laughs> we ain't about to play like that. We too old, baby. So, um, that's all I was talking about, Miss B. That's it. And, um, I don't really know if you like to hear stuff like that. But, that they had made me talk about that. That was them. That's it. Wait a minute. Hold up. Big cucumbers. We will go with that. He go both ways if he don't like it. My real talk thanks peachy lord my ears are innocent girl maria <laughs> no but I'm, I'm you know i'm just being real like we all adults in here if there's any kids listening get up get that fire you feel me that's why i'm like right now i'm not married so i've been i am chasing i am living a chasing lifestyle you know what I mean? Like, no, for real. I was messing with the same guy for months. And, you know, me and him wasn't getting it in. Like, me and him um, wasn't having, you know, wasn't getting it in. So, um, even in between us talking, we had made the decision that we wasn't going to mess around. So, me and him hadn't messed around for a couple of months before we stopped talking. I know you kidding, Maria. Um... So I haven't been active in a long time. But like now I'm just at the point like I do be kind of feeling it sometimes. But as soon as the feeling come it go away. Because dudes are stupid and they irresponsible and they aggravating. And I don't want to be aggravated. I don't want to be bothered a lot of the times. That's why I said I don't even know if I really want to be in a relationship. Because I be, I be annoyed. <laughs> I'll be so, ugh. Um, I don't know if lose innocent there's so on my okay, Anna. <clears throat> let's get it poppin'. Let's get it poppin'. You feel me? And that's just how I be feeling. Like, and um, I ain't gonna say Cleveland dudes are trash. I ain't gonna say that because I ain't having dated every Cleveland dude. And like now, I live in a whole nother city. I live in a whole nother county. You know what I mean? So. So I ain't gonna say dudes are true. It's a lot of nice, responsible, great guys that I've never met. You know what I mean? All guys are not cheaters. All guys are not full of crap. All guys are not stupid. All guys are not, you know what I mean? Like, I don't believe that. I don't believe that's because I had a bad guy. It's because I had bad experiences with men. I don't believe that. I'm not that type of person, you know? Um. I believe that I'm still going to find somebody who's going to love me for me and who's going to appreciate me and all the things. Like, I believe that. You know what I mean? Um, I just got to find him or he got to find me. I, that's why I, I, Let me not say I got to find him because that sounds like I'm looking. I'm not looking. <laughs> I'm not looking. I barely even go places to find dudes. When I be saying I be going out, <clears throat> you didn't read my... Oh, what's your way? What's your last comment? Oh, wait. What's your last comment? I didn't read your last comment. Facts. You said facts. 
Wait, what was your last comment? You gotta type it again. They aren't all bad, V. I know they ain't all bad. They aren't all bad. And I'm gonna come to Alaska and find me a man. I don't know if I can live there, though. <laughs> I can't be in the cold. I'll be depressed if I. Plus, I could live. I could live in Alaska, just due to my condition, due to my fibromyalgia and stuff. I can't live in Alaska. I'll be through. I'll be messed up living in Alaska. But um, yeah. Um, I don't believe all guys are bad. I'm definitely gonna give love a chance. But um, hella cold and dark here. Yeah, I'd be so depressed living there. Hey, raindrops. Drop top. Mm -mm 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 -mm. What's up, Rain? Drop. What's going on with you, girl or guy? Are you a girl or a guy? Rain drop. Are you a girl or a guy? Cause I don't know. Rain drop. Drop top. But um. Yeah, like, I don't want to, um, are you moving to Oklahoma? Are you from Alaska, Anna? You a girl? Oh, okay. Are you from Alaska, Anna? Or you just moved here for something? But, um, yeah, I, yeah. But this is what I'm about to say, y'all. When I be going to um out on the weekends, I don't be going like out to clubs or bars or nothing like that. Man, I be with my family. <laughs> I be I be with my cousins. Like I be with my girl and my guy cousins. I don't be with like sometimes I go out like I when I went on that breakfast date with old boy, that was cool. Me and him still text here and there. But he um he works and he travels a lot. So, he don't even be in town half of the time. You know what I mean? Um, but he's a good guy. He's a good guy. He's a nice guy. Um, you know what I mean? But, um, like, being in a relationship with him, it might be nice being in a relationship. But, you know, he just, he's he ain't available. He don't be here. You know what I mean? So, he'll just be somebody that I would just deal with when he here. Go on dates and go out with him and kick it with him. And then... He can go on his way. Like, you feel me? I wouldn't even take being in a relationship with him serious because he's never here. You feel me? Um, but he's a good guy. He's a nice guy. He got his own everything. Like, you feel me? So maybe in the future when he is in here more, then yeah, maybe so. But, um, but yeah, I ain't talking to nobody seriously or nothing. I'm just chilling. I just be chilling. And when I go out on weekends, I be with my family. That's it. <laughs> I ain't looking for love. I ain't searching for love. I don't, you know what I mean? I ain't. Oh, you was born and raised in Alaska? Oh, wow, that's deep. I never met nobody born and raised in Alaska. Hey, Kenzie, my baby, how you doing? You need the hoodie? Uh, you gotta order one, poo. The number to order stuff is 216. Wait, hold on. Raindrop. Drop top. What's up, Vardy Gaming? Via Vardy Gaming in the building. Hey, Krista. Krista, how did the, um, where y'all take your baby to? To the Museum of Fun? <clears throat> we all know Krista's daughter birthday was yesterday, y'all. Did y'all, how did that go, Krista? Taking your baby to the museum. <clears throat> Excuse me. How did that go? Looking for love in all the wrong places is real, right? <clears throat> That's why I don't be looking for it, shit. I don't be studying these dudes. I swear I don't. <laughs> I really don't. I ain't, I ain't looking for love. I ain't. I ain't, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm just not. I ain't looking for it. It ain't looking for me. 
if somebody really want to date me, they really going to have to like try hard. And I, you know, I ain't trying to sound like all like that, but you know what I mean? Like, they really gonna have to pursue me. Like, for real. We took her yesterday to the kids. Oh, the kids play. What did I just say? Museum of fun. Kids play museum of time away. She had a lot of fun. And then Sunday, we're having a small party for her. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. A town away. Oh, that's gonna be so fun. I remember on my son's fifth birthday, I had um, he loved Spider-Man at the time but he had a lot of girl cousins. So, true indeed. As a man should. Exactly. Um, I had Spider-Man at the time and um, uh, at the time, Door the Explorer was real popular. So I had ordered Door the Explorer and Spider-Man for his birthday party. And they came and they danced. And, you know, they gave a nice little show. Spider-Man was dancing and flipping around and all that. My baby had a good time. He loved his birthday party. He loved his birthday. Um, But, yeah, that's why, that's why I'm like, I ain't really studying being in a relationship right now like don't get me wrong like if like if, if, a, if a guy come to me and he come correct and you know be on some real like real stuff like dudes they don't even be they don't even come to you correct dudes just come all wrong like you know what i mean like let me tell you what i let me tell you what i told my friend <laughs> i'm about to tell y'all exactly and i told my cousin this today too <laughs> This is what I'm looking for. <laughs> Look, y'all. This is what I, Oh, it's in my phone. It's in the phone I'm on. Dang. So, basically, I told I told my friend, if I can remember everything I said. I said, I wanted a dude that was going to whoop my shit. Show me affection. Take me out. No. Wait. With my shit. Show me affection. Give me money. Wait. I can't remember everything. Oh, somebody I could cook for. Oh, go on trips. Show me attention and I can show attention. I don't know. Whatever I said, everything I said, my friend sent me back. She was like, that's a boyfriend. <laughs> I was like, no, it's not. I'm like, that is not a boyfriend. She's like, yes, it is. <laughs> I'm like, okay, well, that's what I want then. I'm like, but it takes time to, like, get to that. You feel me? Like, we ain't got to immediately go in and start doing it. But then, if, if, the, if the feeling right, like, if we meet up and I'm feeling him and he's feeling me, then we can do it on the first day. Like, uh, you know what I mean? I'm not opposed to that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying Like we are adults it, it ain't no rules to this As long as we strap up Then I'm not opposed to it Like who said it's It's a 30 day rule It's a 60 day rule Man get out of here Like some dudes I am like that with I'm not about to give you none You got me messed up But then others I be like oh he fine He can get it Like that's just, it's just what it is Like it depends on the person. It ain't got nothing to do with the rules in the magazines or what somebody else said. This is my body. I'm going to do what I want to do with my body. So everybody get different rules. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to go by what somebody else say. I could go. I just want somebody that's going to be faithful, love me, and give me affection. Exactly. Like... I, you know what I mean? Ain't nobody going to tell me what I need to do. I'm not going to look in the magazine and then somebody 
who I remember, <clears throat> I remember this happened like six or seven years ago. What's up? What's happening, Jaleel? Hey, Shantyra, man. I'm not going to let somebody tell me the rules on how to, for me to be me. So it was this lady. I don't know if y'all remember this. Do y'all remember when it was a lady, she was supposed to be a relationship guru. Oh, is my lips really that ashy? And y'all just got me licking my lips. Y'all ain't told me, V, just put some stuff on your lip. Oh, my God. Uh, let me get out of my mouth. Uh. Y'all ain't tell me, V, just lick your lip. I mean, V, just put something on your lip. Y'all just got me out here with the ashy lips. But, um, do y'all remember this, though? Um, so the lady was a, like a relationship guru. The little 757 in the building. You know, he always gonna say something to the squad. Paying attention to the convo more. Sorry, my lips was ashy. Um, she was a relationship guru. Everybody was listening to her. And, you know, they were talking about how good she was with relationships. And people was like, oh, she got a 100% rating. And she was, people was getting married behind what she was doing and all this other stuff. And then come to find out she was, uh, she was a lesbian. And she actually was dating women. And she wasn't even dating men. And she was telling all these women how to get a man. And how to keep them. And how to make them happy. And all this other stuff. So, you know, immediately people start saying, she's a fraud. And she's this. And she's that. Right? So, um... So immediately, you know, her whole little empire fell apart. And she was a black lady. She had dreads. Um, real beautiful lady, though. Real nice looking lady. I can't remember what her name was. But it was a lot of people that was upset with her after that. And it's like, it was some people that still was like, well... You know, I did her 10-step program, and I got my husband, and he loved me, and blah, 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 and all this other crap. And it's like, well, you followed the program, <clears throat> and it's like people just listen to people based on, you know, whatever you listening to. Oh, shit. And, like, who's to say whether she was right or wrong? But it's like everybody changed their mind because they realized that she was a lesbian. But who's to say that she was actually wrong? If she was, if you was following her and following her steps and she was, basically she was telling people right because people was getting married and, you know, finding they love forever and all this other type of stuff. You know what I mean? My point in saying all that was, Stop trying to listen to other people. Do you. You know what I mean? You don't know what type of lives these people is living that's telling you what to do about you. How you going to listen to somebody else about your body? How you going to listen to somebody else about what you got going on? You feel me? <clears throat> okay. Thank you, Anna. Um, you know what I mean? How you going to listen to somebody else about how somebody else going to tell you who to screw? How somebody else gonna tell you? <clears throat> how to live. When you meet somebody, say this. When you meet somebody, don't do this. When you meet somebody, don't say that. Like what? You don't have a mind of your own? Like don't get me wrong. You know how like, <clears throat> I think everybody has taken some type of advice from somebody in their life. We've all done it. You feel me? <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. 
We've all done it. You feel me? But ain't nobody, can't nobody give me no 10 step program on my coochie. Period. You can't do it. You're not going to tell me who to screw, how to screw, when to screw. You know what I mean? Girl, bye. I'm 41 years old. <clears throat> Half of the time, I wasn't listening to my mama. You think I'm, you know what I mean? I was hard-headed. You think I'm about to listen to some stranger in a magazine or on the internet? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you know how stupid that sounds? It sounds like complete BS. It's dumb. I'm not doing it. You're not a you're not a guru to me. What make you know what? That's another question. I want y'all to answer this for me. What makes somebody a guru? What makes them so super smart and so versed in something that everybody wants to listen to them? Like for instance, that lady. Everybody was listening to her for what? They didn't even know anything about her all they knew was that she was beautiful and that she got online and some of the things that she was saying made sense what are you doing oh my fuck and then all they knew was that she got online and she was making sense by what she was saying which everybody got common sense you feel me <clears throat> so she was making sense by some of the things she was saying and it was like, oh, she's smart. And, you know, she was dropping little, little sense makers as she was talking. And then, you know, she's making more and more things. And now she got exclusive uh, videos out. And now you got to pay to listen to her. And then she got websites and all this other type of crap. And then all of a sudden, everybody found out, like I say, they found out more about her life. And she is a lesbian and she don't even have a man. So all you did was listen to her say something that made that you know that's you know that's kind of sound like like what type of scam is giving scam. Remember when um you know that sound like the um the the tarot card readers. You know how the tarot card readers when they say something obvious and it be like it just blew your mind and you be like, okay, I'm looking at the cards. Oh my goodness, are you? A female I'm seeing I'm seeing a female in your in your in your past mm, it's like a mother figure do you have a mother oh my god yes I do have a mother oh my goodness I can't believe it you know I got a mother okay yeah and do her name start with the a T is it a T somewhere in her name um no okay what about a h what about a y yeah her name yolanda oh my goodness oh lord you figured it out right man get out of here <laughs> you feel me like that's how i feel like that's that's what that's that's how i feel when you are listening to these gurus about man, stop listening to them stop talking to me stop you know what i mean like, and then, don't get me wrong. I don't want to be a hypocrite. I do listen to people. And like I say, I think that some of, these, some of the things that people say do make sense. Like, wow, you know, this thing that this particular man said makes sense. This thing that do, this particular woman says do make sense. But you know what I also feel like? I feel like sometimes when people start making sense, they 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 head get too big and they start saying and doing dumb stuff what am i gonna eat today y'all i'm hungry and i just passed my usual usual restaurants i go to what am i gonna eat today i went to that dang on kfc the other day chipotle gonna take too long where that kfc at wait Hold on, y'all. I got to find KFC. I don't know if it's straight ahead or to the right.
Gotta find KFC. But, um, get the, hey, I love the way you work it. I love the way you work it. Sorry, y'all. I'm trying to find some food. I think I want a pot pie today. Come on. Uh, where they at? Mm -hmm. Is it that way? I think it's that way. I think it's that way. Where is Apple Maps at? I'm hungry, y'all. I think it's that way. I think. I don't want, like, no burger. Hey, y'all, when y'all go to fast food places, do burger meat make y'all stomach hurt? It make my stomach hurt. That's why I can't. Like, my son work at McDonald's. I can't eat McDonald's no more. Or, like, Burger King or none of that type of stuff because it make my stomach hurt. <clears throat> but anyway, um, y'all, that's why I can't be listening to none of these gurus no more. But listen, it was this one man I was listening to. I started listening to on um Instagram. His name, what's his name? Mr. Something. So he used to talk a lot about like what men do and how men think and stuff like this so the reason why i used to agree with a lot of what he used to say was because his the the things that he used to say aligned a lot with how i like the type of man that i want to be with it kind of lined up you know what i mean like he used to say men don't argue with women i agree with that I believe that men should not argue with women. I'm I'm trying to learn to it, it control my emotions, right? Men are I right, I'm back as a member. I just removed my cash out card from my YouTube baby. <laughs> Thank you, Jaleel. Um I'm trying to um that's what's up, Jaleel. He back in the building. Oh, I just can't see right here. Cause I'm starving like Marvin. Is this this kid where the kids see it? I'm about to get me a pop pot today, y'all. Um. Ooh, I should get that smash potato thing or whatever it's called. Um. Well, I kind of want a chicken sandwich. KFC chicken sandwiches don't be hitting like that though. Not enough to be buying it, and you ain't never. I don't know. I'm going to uh, get a Popeye. We ain't going to take them type of chances. Not with my money. Um, but, um, yeah. So, um, so I was listening to him. And like I said, the, the reason why I really liked him as a content creator or influencer or whatever you call it. Was because, like I said, a lot of the things that he said lined up with how I felt. And he used to say things, like I said, about women not arguing with men. But I also feel like when you say things like that, you have to choose that type of woman. If you say a woman, a woman, a man can't argue with a woman, a man can't argue with a man, you can't choose. Hold on, y'all. Thank you for choosing Empress TFC. Would you like to try our new cheese plate combo? It's the perfect mashup of chicken and pizza. If not, go have to order whenever you're ready. May I have a pot pie with the um, blackberry lemonade okay. and two drumsticks? Did you want those original or crispy? Crispy. Crispy? Yeah. Buy anything else? Nope. Gonna be fourteen eighty two, please. Damn. Okay. Damn, why is fourteen dollars? Hold up, my pot pie combo only costs eight dollars. So you trying to tell me that drumsticks cost six? I mean three dollars a piece? Dang! They trying to go up in the system. <laughs> Hold up, I need a coupon. Somebody, uh, cash, cash at me a coupon. Somebody, um, what's a jig me a coupon? Damn. 
got this kind of money. Expensive. I won't go there. Dang. I be wanting to eat my little. I love drumsticks, y'all. Drumsticks and wings is my favorite piece of chicken. I'm kind of feeling away about that because dang. Dang, dang, dang. <laughs> dang. But anyway. So, like I said, he was saying a lot of things that lined up. And like I was saying, as women, we have to, like, really control our emotions. If you have a man that's not very argument, um, argumentative and you steady, like, pushing his buttons and pissing them off and doing things that you know, you know what I mean, is going to make him mad, then you are not a good woman, period. You are not the woman for him. Like, I really want a man that's calm. I do. Because I feel like the calmer he is, the calmer I'll be. Because I'm learning how to control my emotions. I'm learning to be a better woman. You feel me? But, like, I can't be a... Let me say this. I can't be a better woman with a man who I think is full of shit, though. I can't. If I think you playing in my face, if I think you full of BS... If I think that you playing with me, if I think you lying to me, if I think, you know what I mean? Or if I know you're lying to me, or if I know that you being on some trash, then we, I'm not about to, I'm not about to be good to you. Uh, you know what I mean? Like we, I'm not about to play like everything cool. We not doing that. You feel me? Um... So it's like, can I have some? Um, oh wait, can you add? Oh no, 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 no. Can I have some hot sauce in the bag? Was getting the blackberry lemonade extra or something? Was getting the lemonade extra or something? No. Oh, okay. So yeah, so I'm like I said, I'm really trying to learn to um, control my emotions because I what I'm learning from men and women, thank you, that um, you know we're wired differently. You know when it comes to the way we think. Thank you, Leo. When it comes to um, you know different things or whatever. Thank you, Leo. You need to buy one. Hey, let me look at my stuff. I got a fork in here. Oh, yeah. Um, so we're wired very differently. And women, if you find a man who, when he's upset, if he can communicate effectively and not holler and scream and disrespect you and be all stupid about it, then you really need to appreciate that man because a lot of men won't do that. A lot of men will go off and be dumb and be disrespectful and you know what I mean? So, and then, or women will do that. Be be crazy and call you out your name and holler and scream and, you know, just do the most and then be looking at the men like, why would you talk to me like that? Girl, could you talk to him like that? You feel me? So that's why I'm, I'm really... The older I get, I hate that I have to say that I'm 40 years old, 41, and it's just I'm just realizing this. But that's because I never really had a calm type of guy like that. I never had a calm type of guy. I always had, like, argumentative dudes, dudes that was immature, and I was immature, too. I was immature. Um, like, I remember being in a relationship where I held things back, like, if I felt like uh a guy was starring stuff and i was trying to be immature and i was trying i mean immature i was trying to be mature and i was trying to be like the bigger person and not say stuff and you know what i mean and then people um uh, use your kindness for weakness like oh she ain't saying nothing so i'm just gonna keep on digging at her and i'm gonna keep all you know what i mean and i'm trying to be mature and i'm trying to be cool and i'm trying not to say nothing and i'm you know what i mean like i'm being the best person I could be and you just gonna keep on messing with me 
you going to keep on and keep on and keep pushing and pushing and pushing and, and poking and poking and poking. And then when I flip out and go off on you, I'm wrong. No, because I've been trying to be the bigger person. I've been letting you get your stuff off and do all this and that. And, you know, almost to the point of disrespect or you probably just downright been disrespecting me. And I'd be like, you got it. Okay, killer. Okay, big dog. Okay. You know what I mean? And then all of a sudden, when I flip back out, it's a problem. Come on now. So, you know what I mean? I I feel like, you know, we as women, we have to learn to be less emotional. Because it's just, you know what I mean? Like, of course, we got feelings and stuff like that. And stuff like that. But we definitely have to learn to be less emotional. And men. Y'all have to learn to be more in touch with y'all feelings. But not in a 2024 type of way. Ma'am. I feel like these days. 2024 type of men. Oh my God. Y'all almost too emotional. And I hate to say that. Because you don't want to. Mm -hmm. I know y'all probably be like. Oh we can't do nothing. But it ain't like that. It's just like. Huh, how can I put this? How can I put this? Um, it, just, it just be so much that be going on and you it's like you see different men uh behave in certain type of ways and you be thinking like who raised you you know what i mean like what what's the problem what what are you going through you know i don't know i don't know i just i just like my ultimate goal if i ever do get married and stuff like that it's just to find somebody who is solid and if we have our problems then we should we can work through them and it won't be like you know just a big issue a big problem a big you know what i mean an argument about everything i don't want nobody who's super serious i'm gonna lay i just got home from work i'm going to go live but i'm gonna sit here for a while just wanted to let you know if I pop out. Okay, uh, what time you going live? That was everyone in the chat. My day was pretty rough. My day was actually pretty rough, little cuz. Little baby cuz. I'm having a flare up with my um, fibromyalgia and my back been hurting real, real bad. Uh, probably because of my. Um, arthritis I think I need to um what you call it I need to get my meloxicam um up because I know you are people I just wanted to let you know in case I disappear okay but just let me know if I see you missing I'm going to check my other phone and see if you live, and then we'll probably come over there. Just let me know. But, um, yeah. That's all I really want for me. And I just feel like can't nobody tell me what to do about me. Period. No, I got goals for me. I know what you meant cuz um I got goals for me and whatever my like what my marriage is going to be I got goals for me and whoever I fall in love with um thank you I got goals for the next person I date and if we you know if we are seriously dating and you know whatever that whatever that's going to look like you know what i mean and just can't nobody tell me what to do like i said hey alvin 
think? What you think? <laughs> Little baby cousin, what you thanking me for? It's so it's tart, it's good. For understand. Oh, okay. Um, no problem. But which KFC game. Thank you, Alvin, for liking and sharing me out. I appreciate you. But yeah, um, you know, I ain't really into the content creator, influencer, telling me what to do in my life type of part. I ain't into that. I don't go to an influencer and a content creator to get my five steps to life. And I'm not never paying nobody to tell me. How I supposed to wake up in the morning? What I supposed to eat? What how I supposed to, when I supposed to have sex? When I'm supposed to date? What I supposed to do if I'm over forty and I'm not married yet? What I supposed to? You know what I mean? I ain't listening to nobody else. I gotta work my own man out. I, you know what I mean? You can't you can't give everybody the same five step program and then everybody is supposed to work out for everybody because everybody is different. You know what I mean? And that's why I just, you know what I mean? But everybody different. Sometimes people, you know what, let me say this too. Sometimes people need that though. You know what I mean? Sometimes people need that type of, um, what do you call it? That type of uh, leading. You know what I mean? Sometimes people need that. Sometimes people need somebody to kind of tell them or motivate them or... Uh, I guess that's why it's something called um, motivational speaking. Rim Rock, hey Rim Rock, I'm a um, I'm happy you came on here, Mr. Elevation Station. I'm gonna add my uh, my membership back on to you. Um, I ain't had no money on my cash app. Um, but I, you know, we just got paid by uh YouTube today. So I just added some money to my cash app. Um, so hopefully they'll try it again tonight. If not, I'm gonna have to put your your um your membership on my debit card. But because I don't always be having money on my cash app. I always got money on my debit card, you know what I mean? But um yeah, I got. That's what I'm saying. I gotta change that, cause I got some memberships on, um, and I don't even know how I did that. Where some membership, like Miss V, um, Miss V, make this go viral, LLC, Miss V. Her membership was on my cash app card too, but like the Roots and Terrence, theirs is on my, um, is on my debit card. I don't know how they... I don't even understand how I separated them, though. I don't even think they gave me an opportunity to choose what I wanted. I don't even remember, like, you know what I mean? I honestly don't remember them asking me what did I want to... What, um... Payment, I wanted to choose to do it. Because I know if I do it off this phone, this is the, um, my debit card. Because, like, when I be sending, um, super chats and super stickers and stuff like that, it's always off this phone. So, I don't even know how they, how my cash app, I don't know. I don't even know. However, I be adding my membership back on. Oh, yeah, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all what happened today. So, I'm laying in the bed. I was seriously thinking about calling off. No cap. I didn't feel good. My body was hurting. Um, I was supposed to get up and go get some groceries. 
when the money had hit from um from YouTube, I was like, dang, I need to get up and go get a couple of groceries. But I was editing a video and I was like, okay, I'm done editing. I'm like, I can run and go get some groceries right quick, bring them back, put them up. But my body wasn't going to allow me to do that. Not quick anyway. And it was almost close to me having to get dressed and leave off for work. Hey, Shayna. Welcome to the live. I just said, forget it. So a friend of mine, somebody I met on Facebook, never met him in real life. She called me. And she said, She said, you got, um, you got merch, right? I said, yeah. He said, what you got? I'm like, I got rolling trays, ashtrays, this, that, you know, number of things. He said, I'm going to buy something. So I was like, well, this, and I was telling her different prices. And she was like, okay. And now she live in California. So I was telling her like, um, you know, is it'll be this. And I'm like, hey, Miss Riz. And I'm like, and then the taxes but my county is 6.75. I'm like, and then it would be shipping. So I'm like, it'll probably still come up to about maybe a little bit over $30. Come on, y'all. So she, um, she said, you know what? Don't even worry about it. I ain't even gonna buy nothing. I'm just gonna send you the money. She was like, I'm still gonna buy something. She was like, but I'm just going to send you this money. Because she's into like, um, what is it? She's not religious. She's spiritual. So she was like, my spirit guides are telling me just to send you some money. I'm like, okay. So she asked me my cash app. It pays a day, and I started looking at my studio. I had put my bank. In. I did the same thing for the first time. I did the same thing, um, Drea. I did the same thing. I'm sitting up here waiting on my little money to hit, and I'm like, why my money not hitting? Girl, they pay you. They pay you between the 21st and the 26th. I put mine in on the very last day. And I got my little money on the 26th. The very first time. Uh, um, check from YouTube. Girl, I was like, oh my goodness. What the heck is going on? Girl, I was about to fight you too. I did the same thing. Never put in my information. Girl, the same thing. I promise you. That's why I was like, when I had posted that one video, like, I was crying. And my son was like, she could have been crying. Uh, my son was like, she could have been crying days ago if she would have uh, put her, her information in there. I'm like, shut up, boy. Oh, no, I'm about to take another bite of my chicken leg. Hey, Maria. Bro, I was biting on that chicken leg. Right, y'all. I got to get off for a second. Hold on. <clears throat> this thing on seatbelt.
Come back, y'all. Uh. <laughs> That's what's up, Rim Rock. <clears throat> my my first check won three hundred, but it was definitely kind of close. Uh. Woo woo woo. Hey, y'all, I'm about to dig into my Popeye before I take off. Hey, don't sleep on um KFC Popeyes because they good. And for me, I don't have to put nothing with it. Like, I don't have, you ain't got to put no salt. If you a pepper type of person, you could do pepper. Sometimes I put pepper on, like, if I'm at home. They ain't got no pepper in his bag. I put pepper on it sometimes. But they really don't need nothing. I just I just put all the crust in there. They be so hot. Look at the, look at the stain. So good. I want to make me a Popeye at home, like a big old Popeye, or should I make mini ones? They don't seem like they too hard to make. I I need to know how to make the little roux though. I do it the easy way. I'll get some cream of chicken. Hey, it's so hot, y'all. Oh, it's potatoes in here. Peas, carrots, chicken. I'll get some cream of chicken. Wait a minute. How long? How many miles is it? I'm going to have to stop and get some gas. Hey. It's good. Get y'all the KFC pop pie. That is good. I'm telling y'all, they are tasty in the mug. Hey, KK, what's going on, my girl? KK, KK. Look mm, how good. It's so hot. I'm mad I can't sit here and eat it. Gotta go. KK, how are you? How are the kids? I know KK one of my faves. Papa, it go from KFC. All they need is a little pepper. Not really, really don't even need a pepper. It's so hot. Shit. I'm gonna burn my mouth. And it got a lot of chicken in it. Like a lot. Like they don't skimp on nothing. Like they don't skimp on the chicken. On the potatoes. So you're not going to share. Just want to be, be good. Fun. Here you go. KK, you know you can have some. You one of my favorites. No, anybody can have some, though. Okay, this is my last spoon because I got to go dry. 
Hey, he's there. We eating Popeye. Eating a Popeye from KFC. It's good, too. Y'all ever had um, Popeye's from KFC? If you haven't, you need to go taste it. Depending on how salty you like your food, you may need to add a little salt. But I don't even do that. I usually just add a little pepper when I'm at home. But the pepper definitely be... I mean, the pepper, give it a little kick. But it don't even need that for real. But it's hot. Uh, hell. And I'm going to get back to the subject I have. <sighs> He's there. I don't think I've ever seen you in my lab before. Welcome to the lab, bro. That's what's up. I seen you in Nirvana's lab. That's why I think me and you start um following each other at in Nirvana's live. Dang, this sun is killing me. Um, what do you think I was about to do before I took off? I don't know. I forgot. First time catching you. Oh, okay. I go live every day at 5 o'clock. Usually I have a subject too. But today was a little different. Um, I went to... I got... Let me tell y'all. So usually I go to sleep every day at like 4 or 5 o'clock in the morning. That's what I do. Oh, it's what I do. But I usually don't get in the bed till four or five o'clock in the morning as well. Hey Kennedy. But last night I actually got in the bed like about midnight. So I was not productive. Like I didn't do no merch last night. I was just chilling, but I was telling y'all I'm having a flare up. What Kennedy? Every time you come here you got a question, girl. What? So I was not productive last night. I ended up just getting in the bed about 12 o'clock, took my shower, got in the bed. Um, I cooked last night. I did cook. Um, my son, me and my son, something to eat. Well, he ate at work. So he just, you know, probably gonna eat it today. Um, what you laughing at, mother of twins? Kennedy, she come in here at every day. I got a question. I got a question. How do you go live? I have 88 subscribers. It doesn't let me though. I don't know why. Because I thought you could go um, live with 50 subscribers now. It's more than that now. You telling the story, um, Kennedy. Because you should guess me. <laughs> Wait, everybody who in here, can't you go live with 50 subscribers? Ain't it 50? They didn't change it again? Oh, I was supposed to be looking at my phone. They didn't change it again. How many you got to have now? A hundred? Okay, Kennedy, you lying. Oh, unless you got a, a kid account. You need 50. Unless you got a kid account. If you, if you signing in from a kid account, I don't think kids can go live. That's probably why. Well, if it say 59, then I don't know. Baby, guess what? I don't work for Google. I wish I did. Shit. I don't work for Google, baby. <laughs> hey, if I work for Google, baby, I'll be monetizing all my homeboys, all my all my homegirls. I'll be doing something with y'all hours like click, click, boom. Click, click, boom. I'll be giving y'all 50 hours a day just so y'all hours could go up. I wonder, I wonder, can they do that? Do they have the power? Or is it like some type of a computerized machine or something like that? Oh, y'all gotta start telling people that. Kennedy, you still in here? Who I was asking about going live? Um, so you could, okay, let me ask you this, Ren Rock. So you can go live on StreamYard and then you can make the destination still go through um this here through you uh YouTube and it'll still play the right way. Like you live. 
On weekdays, I'm usually at work at 5 o'clock. So. Oh, okay. That's probably why you'll never catch me. But you was off today, is that? I got 50 subs on my other channel and I still go live on YouTube. All right, because you should be able to because you got 50 subs. But I'm saying like if you don't got 50 subs, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. Y'all asking the wrong... Oh, to the stream yard. Oh. Yeah, I'm about to pay that um that ten dollar um special for Streamyard, so I can um I'm about to start my podcast. And the first person I want to interview, I already got the first person I want to interview. Real Rock, I'm going to interview you. You already know, but I actually want to do your interview face-to-face. -face. Real Rock. Definitely want to do your interview face-to-face. -face. I got to make my way to, t uh, I'm about to say to Texas, to Tennessee. Do you have a kid account, Kennedy? If you got a kid account, you probably wouldn't even be able to talk to me. I don't know. Ask Google, Kennedy. Talk to them. Baby, because I don't know. But oh, but you can go through, you can go through StreamYard. Yeah, set your account. Not for kids. Oh, then again, don't do that. Well, how old are you? What your parents got to say about it? Her parents might want her account to be for kids. Do your parents know you be on watching the live with a 41-year-old woman? Hey, this chicken tastes extra good. Hey, y'all, what y'all think? Who chicken is better? Put this in the comments. KFC, Popeyes, or churches? Them not, oh, we got a Bojangles here too now in Ohio. I never had Bojangles chicken with the bone in it. I only had they tenders. So I got to go back there. Popeyes. What you cooking, Miss V? Give me a bite. Get, give me a plate. Popeye's got the best. Church's, Church's, Church's chicken is good, though. I did a video on Church's chicken, and I hadn't had Church's chicken in years. And I um had tried some Church's chicken, man. It was going. It was so good. I was like, I don't know. They like we're giving Popeyes a run for their money. It was good. That chicken was so, so good. Like, pork chops, macaroni and cheese, mashed potatoes, and green beans. Ooh. Miss V, and I know it's good too. I know it's going. We'll see y'all later. Okay, he's dead. See you on the next one. Have a good day. So somebody said church today. Nobody say KFC. <laughs> KFC chicken good though. I ain't gonna say it's the best. But hey, you know what I've been finding about Popeye's chicken though? The last time I had Popeye's chicken, it made me go to the bathroom. I don't know if it was the, it was they um if they grease was old or what. But probably like an hour after I ate it. 
I had to go to the bathroom. And you know what I'm talking about. Like, I was in the bathroom. So, I'm like, I don't know about Popeye's. Popeye's be like, wait, having my stomach fluttering. <laughs> like, real deal. Hey, boo-boo, I love you. I love your sister. My sister in a building. Hey, my sister in a building. Oh, hey, hey. You come hang with me. You gotta hang with Z. Hey, hey. My sister in a building. I love you, sister. What you doing today? How granddaddy doing? Hey, y'all. Our granddaddy 95 years old. We told y'all that the other day. Our granddaddy is 95 years old. Y'all better get with him. That's who I really want to interview. It's granddaddy. He chilling being hard-headed as usual. <laughs> what are you trying to get up and walk around and stuff? Tell him I said, sit down. Sit down. Always trying to do something. What are you trying to do? Walk from the bedroom to the uh, chair and living room? I know, Brandy. Everybody send their condolences to uh, Brandy. Her uh, grandmother passed away today. No, he won't let the nurses come to see him. Well, he keep denying it, uh, Star. Granddaddy's so hard-headed. Everybody send their condolences to Brandy, though. Her grandmother passed away today. Many prayers to Brandy and her family. I'm so sorry, Brandy. I thought about it when I first got on here, but I ain't want to mention it because I ain't know if you wanted, you know, other people to know. So that's, you know, that's the reason why I didn't mention it. I ain't know, you know what I mean. I want to I wanna, um, interview, uh, you know I'm doing my podcast, uh, Star, and I want to interview Granddaddy. You think he'll let me come in and talk to him? Star, you think Granddaddy will come, uh, let me come in and talk to him? Somebody who 95, I got a lot of questions to ask them. I wonder will he remember stuff. <laughs> I know. Hey, Buddha. He lived a long time. If he remembers stuff, man, he could tell me some, some stuff. Think about it. He asked about me the other day. <laughs> what did he say? I got to go see him. I got to come see him. What did he say, sir? Any blessings to you, Brandy? Buddha in the building. Buddha in the building. Over there, and me it was me, Star, 
star husband and her mother and we was in there uh laughing and you know being all loud or whatever so granddaddy was in there asleep <laughs> so we done woke granddaddy up so grand we can hear granddaddy getting out the bed so me and star coming there flicking the light on and all that well no granddaddy had turned the light on because he got the long string so granddaddy flicked the light on so star he ain't expect me to come in there so star walked in there first and then i waited a minute and then i walked in there after star he looked up and saw me <laughs> and they was like who is this uh little fat little lady in my house <laughs> like he like y'all too loud y'all didn't woke me up <laughs> we was having fun though granddaddy so cool y'all he cool granddaddy don't have a care in the world he don't, he don't care about nothing. All he wants is to get up. He wants his breakfast. He wants his lunch. And he wants his dinner. <laughs> That's all he wants. <laughs> and he wanted the time he wanted. He's so simple. Right there, he don't be on all that. And he wants to sit in his chair and watch his TV. That's it. Granddaddy's simple. He be, he be getting on, on star nerves, though. <laughs> That's so funny. He said, Where is my breakfast? You need to be up, get my breakfast together. And he'll never be wanting to start to leave, y'all. Uh uh. He, he be like, You ain't going nowhere. You got to stay here with me. Now she got to stay because he's so hard headed. He'll be to try to get out the bed. Cause he, he's still not walking easy, Star. Grandpa was getting around good for a minute. Then his last time he uh he fell and he was in the hospital and then he was in a rehab for a little bit. So I don't know. Is he is he walking star again or no? Oh he walking all oh, good, good, good. <laughs> oh Lord. All oh, hell about to break loose. I'ma post a video of him him dancing on that was last year. On his 94th birthday, he was whipping them hips, baby. Grandpa say, baby, I still got it. Don't get it twisted. He was whipping them hips. Some of these young guys can't even whip them hips like granddaddy. Hey, do granddaddy still go with that lady? And she a younger woman, y'all. She probably like in her 60s or something. Granddaddy like don't tangle and twist it in the club every night drunk drunk in that crazy. <laughs> That's what the nurse is trying to do, get his strength up, but he won't do it. That's him let it too. Girl, yeah. Girl, he got him, he got him one. He's still coming out. Girl, that's his woman. Girl, I remember one time we had this little get together and she gonna come with this nasty macaroni and cheese. Basically, she really didn't want to make it, so she made it real, real nasty. Remember that, um, store? It was something y'all had at the house back in the summer. I don't even think that was this past summer. That was like last summer. Hey, two. And she made that nasty macaroni and cheese. Like, she did that on purpose. Like, you know this macaroni and cheese nasty as hell. And she gonna make that nasty macaroni and cheese. You like my hoodie? Thank you. Girl, yes. She made that nasty macaroni and cheese. Knowing nobody wasn't gonna eat. It was so nasty. And I think it was like, wasn't it kind of sweet too? It was like sweet tasting. It was disgusting. Oh my God, it was awful. Oh, Deborah, that was on, oh, not on her birthday. Not, not her birthday, no. Oh, Lord, I just remember it being nasty. It was so disgusting. <coughs> like, baby, you was out of line for this. You was out of line, out of pocket, and everything else. Y'all, it was disgusting, y'all. Why oh, my phone ain't charging? Like, why you just didn't say you ain't want to make it? 
you gonna make it nasty on purpose so won't nobody ask you again. Like you better go on ahead on. The granddad, I don't even think granddaddy ate none of it. I bet she was chuckling. Watch her try. By the time I got there, she wasn't even there. She had left already. But she knew that mess was disgusting. Like, what kind of cheese you putting in this? And look, granddaddy didn't even eat it. Grandpa like, I ain't with you for your beauty. I'm with you for your booty. <laughs> granddaddy ain't on it. Wait till I come over there and see him. I'm gonna be like, I'm here to wake you up. <laughs> About your sleep. Come on, get on up. Go. <clears throat> I hope I live to be 95. The way this world going, I hope I live to be 65. I want to live a long time. I want to live a long time because I just want to spend as much time like with my son and hopefully if he have like kids, I want to spend a lot of time with my grandkids. You know what I mean? I want to be that type of grandparent. I remember I was watching this story about this uh, lady, and basically she said she had outlived everybody. She was like a hundred some years old. She was like a hundred and thirteen. She was super super old, and she didn't have no, no. She had kids. Her one kid she had died early, like back in the day when whatever condition she had. Or disease that it had, it wasn't no cure for it back when the child had died. She outlived her husband. She outlived all her siblings. Um, and she was still living from living at home. You know what I mean? She went in a nursing home and nothing. Um, she had outlived all her siblings. Of course, she outlived her parents. Um, outlived her husband. Her child died young, so of course she didn't have. She didn't have no more kids. So she. Um, she didn't um, have no uh, grandkids. Um, like basically, she said she like I outlived all my friends. Um, you know the type of job she had. You know she retired at sixty or whatever. So after that, you know she was like I didn't have much of a social life because I didn't go to bars and lounges and stuff like that. Like it was like. She made being sound like getting old sound so horrible. <laughs> like, like, oh my gosh. Like, you know how most people be like, oh, I want to I want to live to be old. I want to be 100 years old. Man, she made being old sound so bad. Like, imagine that. You outlive everybody that you ever knew. <laughs> like, and now you just in the world by yourself. She like, like she was saying that her neighbors, like, cause they knew how old she was, they would come check on her or whatever, you know, make sure she was cool if she don't leave out the house for a couple of days. They probably was making sure she wasn't, you know, dead in there or whatever. But, um, you know, they just come in and, you know, check on her once in a while and make sure she's straight. But they're not her friends. Like, you know, they nice to her, the people in the neighborhood. But she like, I don't have nobody. I don't have nothing. I don't have no friends. I don't have no family. You know, I think she was the only child or something, too. So, or no, she had siblings, but she outlived them, too. I think maybe one brother or one sister, she outlived them. It was just bad. Like, I'm like, dang, this what old age look like? It was the most depressing story i ever seen. <laughs> like, <laughs> I was looking at that story. I was crying. I'm like, oh, my God, what is her information? I would write her. I wanted to write her or something. Like, write her a letter, like. You know, I just I just watched this story, but it was on like a nationally a nationally syndicated syndicated TV show like uh, uh, CBS or it was back in the day when we still was watching TV. So that lady probably long gone dead now. But I was crying, I was crying, like oh my goodness, and she just was like, you know, I hate, and I think the name of the the story was like I hate being old you know i hate being 113 years old or whatever it was called it just made being old just look awful <laughs> it 
and it just made me over it just made me really realize like you know what it would be like if that happened to you imagine everybody dying around you my sister my 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 nieces and nephews my child my parents all my friends like everybody's dead and it's just you and you still just keep living year after year after year after year and ain't nothing going on around you people just dying dropping dead like what is you some type of witch that's what i was thinking like is you killing them like <laughs> <coughs> that's what i was thinking like is you sure you <coughs> you ain't the killer everybody just dropping dead around you the only ones to lie Like she a witch, she a witch, and she giving them some type of elixir. She got the stay alive potion, and all everybody else dead. Like, girl, bye. But either way, I was crying. I feel bad for her, and I wanted to write her a letter. Oh, this this merch, sis. It's merch. They cost twelve dollars. I said 13 yesterday. They $12. 12 bucks. You got to you got text me to place your order. Text me at my other phone number, 216-972-3955. And you can get whatever color you want. It's going to say VPG's World and then whatever name you want on it. Girl, that's that's merch boo boo it's going and I'm oh yeah I gotta get them license plates I can't find nobody to do them for me the girl I was supposed to do them for me I ain't heard from her I need her to do my license plates and my coffee mugs Drea Lachey. 
D-R-E-A L-A-S-H-A <coughs> Y'all go on over and go check out Drea, Drea Drea, Drea Drea's uh live. He's live right now. And if y'all not in the mood to watch the live, I also dropped the video at six. And Real Rock, is you doing your show tonight? I gotta know what time y'all be doing y'all shows. Drea let's say. Yeah, Drea Lachey, L A S H A. All right, y'all, I'm gone. I'm going to Drea's live. Bye. Right. Be comfortable, be confident, and most importantly, be peachy. Go to Drea's live. <laughs> 